beauty in your own ways. Just asked the uh, lock keepers if I could film it, if they minded. They said, we're not pretty enough. Well, I think they are. Just waiting now. Torxy, Torxy uh, lock. Get your words out, Will, come on. Well, that lock isn't used very often, is it? Wow, look at that. On this side, old teapots. First time I've seen this, where they're undoing the gates with those I don't know, steering type things. Not spinning them round. See that? What are they called? Do my hand off like a ship's wheel. Wow. Cheerful people. Really nice. And get some water. saline water. The wood is clean, all's clean. Wow. lovely lift off a guy called David I was just talking to the guy in the car park and he said oh I'll take you back to Newark not a problem gave him a tenner didn't ask for it but I gave it to him anyway I got I got that and I got the cable in the same day from Gainsborough which is the other direction about eight miles so a really productive day a couple of days ago I managed to fit the cable yesterday and now it's smooth so much smoother saying is uh, for the next two kilometers two kilometers there's deer ramps underwater so deer can get out rather than just keep drowning I suppose which is fair so deer ramps for the next two kilometers be warned and beware it's the uh, there's the deer ramps can you see those what they put in for the uh, deer to get out there we are Deer ramps. I'm going to see a lot of these uh, wind turbines, these generators. Let's uh, turn my engine off and listen to nature, shall we? Skegness 51 miles now that was my nearest beach from Nottingham 90 91 miles I think it was it's quite long and straight this uh, Foss Dyke and it's a little bit uh, featureless and boring head down crack on you've got Doddington Hall that way is that uh, is that Ken Dodd of Doddington is that where it comes from comments below just woke him up look to sleep mate blondie there look blonde horse oh, no. little pony June and it is absolutely freezing. 
jacket on, it's 9.30 in the morning, cruising to Lincoln, and it's absolutely freezing. Awkward. Where are you going? Where am I going? Sometimes, I think you're in a, some sort of time warp, you know, back in, back in the 19... 30s or 40s or something, you know. I know it's not real, but wait a minute, what's that? Well, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, look. Come to some houses, wipe some moorings down here because I'm there's no moorings all the way from Toxy Lock. I've done about six kilometres now and there's still no moorings, so hopefully moorings cup of tea. This is bridge 2A and 2. I want to get a train coming over. Oh, come on, baby. No, you miss it. Ruby! Milo and Ruby! Hello! Two lovely little dogs. We're here at um, Saxelby. Saxelby, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. There's Milo. And there's Ruby Lot, side of the side of the boat. That's lovely. We've got all the uh, shops put there, look. Lovely. If you like that sort of thing. Uh, nice moorings, enjoyed it. Those little dogs, they uh, come on the boat and they had a good look around, good sniff around, and then off they went, they're happy. It's really, really amazing to see them. I had a, I had a nice chat with the owner, and uh, you know, a chin wag, cup of tea, biscuit, and uh, we'll talk about the area. and I really needed some diesel I wasn't sure whether they sold diesel or not you know when you go into the marinas and you got you don't sell it and you got to turn around again all those GRPs and I thought Ooh, a bit risky so I just plodded on almost getting into uh, Lincoln now look at the, the grey skies as usual yeah Commonwealth Garden there's a lots and lots of different boats so let's have a look at them as we go past Uh, moorings here and facilities and water and that kind of thing but it's pretty packed and I just managed to squeeze my boat in by it like inches into a gap further down and I had a little little nosy around Lincoln do you want to come but no come on right bang in the center there's a, there's a big harbor with all these beautiful modern buildings surrounding it you can smell it oh it's beautiful all the restaurants really nice You've got you have got visitor moorings there, but it's only it's only like for like thirty foot boats. You can see the pontoons there. Yeah, look at that lot there, you know. All the restaurants, buildings, beautiful, isn't it? I was once again I was amazed uh, by this city. It's uh, fabulous uh, waterside properties there. All the shops you could ever consume. Uh, little side streets, lot of shops and uh, buildings. And all the history it's mixed in with the yeah look at all the old that that old lovely old the streets and you know, the arches look at that that amazing beautiful place Look at this 
this look, Lincoln Cathedral. What an unbelievably beautiful and stunning building built a thousand years ago almost. And the lovely little houses around. Oh my word, look at this. Isn't this just, oh just, it's history gold, isn't it? It's just awe-inspiring to the eye, you know, just like your mouth's open going, wow. Typical me with the old uh, investigation whistle going. Lincoln Cathedral was once one of the tallest buildings in the world. And, it was, and the uh, construction commenced in 1072. Wow, almost a thousand years of that history oozing from these walls. And look at the uh, look at the delicate arches there and the stonework. Beautiful doors, you know, it's, oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? When you when you think of the cost uh, and the manpower and the time to build this thing, you know, and and the status symbol, the the religious order must have been thinking they were, they were the most powerful people in the world and we're going to show you how powerful we are you know we're going to build these monuments to our power and our wealth to show everybody you know what I mean it's just like a stick in your chest down like a gorilla banging his chest with his fist isn't it that's what these churches are like and you've got these gorgeous little cloister type houses for all the uh, servants and the uh, or people that worked at these churches because the maintenance was must be massive imagine the hundreds of uh, Masons working on this church. It's where the Freemasons come from because you, you go up to the local bishop and you shake his hand, and by your handshake, you'd know exactly what kind of Mason you were. This is where the secret societies come from these sacred geometry they used to use in these buildings, and you know, the quality of the work that's where it uh, all stems from. Probably further back than that, to be honest, but it is truly awe inspiring. This is the uh, Lincoln Castle that's connected to this cathedral. I suppose they needed an army to protect all that wealth, you know, so they needed somewhere, a fortress, in a, in a location which is right on top of the hill. It's really steep to get to this uh, castle. The streets are really, uh, if not careful, you, you know, you need, you need a strong heart to go up here, put it that way. It's just a final view of the... Uh, Church there, so I'm going back. I'll take you back down this steep slope. This is how steep it is, look. Uh, coming up here, you know, you, you, you sweat a bit, put it that way. You need some water. And there's a view of the city. Uh, as walking over the bridge back to the boat, you can see how, how dominant that building must have been in its time. This is a beautiful old building, just just uh, over the canal. You go down this, this stretch to Boston, and I want you to take you down this little. Uh, a little alleyway. Uh, you'd think, oh, no, I can't see anything there. And you've got these houses, the old houses next to, right next to the new buildings. Look, see the gap? There's hardly any gap there. Just uh, beautiful old stairs, worn away. This is the uh, next morning. I thought I'd just take a, a walk around when there's nobody about. All nice and empty. And uh, a nice little good old nosy. Beautiful, look at that. Can you imagine the power and wealth in this place. God, blimey. If you walk down here, you think, oh, no, it's dead end. I'll show you in a minute, it's not. Looks like it, doesn't it? Little secret entrance. Sweet. How we come here, look? Great. Odeon. I just get you get a nicer you get a nicer feeling when there's uh, not crowds of people about so you can really steer at things without you know people think you're steering at them sort of thing just going down to get some shopping now before I uh, head back to back to Torxy. Just 
thought I'd uh, take a cruise back into this marina and have a good look around on the boat and turn around and hopefully it'll uh, don't crush any GRPs with the wind and stuff you know